Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fourth episode of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Last episode was a great one. In fact, I would probably say it's my favorite episode so far. Like episode one has the advantage of being the initial the initial experience, the initial one with the shock value, if you, want, if you want to call it that, with just how extreme the lewdness and everything in the premise of the show. But, uh, you know, if we take that out of the equation, like I would say episode three, with the introduction of an amazing new character, Kiwi, in her dynamic with Utena, really, really good stuff. So, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that episode immensely. Like, if I was given this show the three-episode treatment, that if I wasn't already sold by then, I, I certainly I certainly would have been. So, we're here for episode four, though. Like, um, the very first frame, because, uh, you, you know, when I, do, when I do reactions, I load up the episode first before I start recording. So, I see the very first frame first be before, I, you know, you, you see me. And, uh, yeah, our very first frame. What do we have here? A pink-haired girl, probably Haruka. Covered with um, some some kind of slime, as well as um, what I assume is sweat and um, saliva. Like they look very much the same, but since it's dripping from the, the lip, I assume that's saliva. Uh, it's usually a safe assumption, but um, and a big blush. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume Utena. They're 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 in the middle of a fight, and Utena has summoned some kind of slime monster, probably with tentacles, to um to, to grab her. You know, she's like suspended in air. Right, uh, probably some clothing damage, some clothing dishevelment. That's gonna be that's my guess going into it. But uh, but yeah, so let's just jump on in and see if that is indeed the case. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for early access to these videos. So yeah, let us begin in three, two, one, play. <laughs> and of course, she's not alone, you know. There's Kaoruko. Yep, I see slime tentacles. And she's suspended in the air. See how, see how genre, genre savvy I am. And yeah, Saya looking good. Although, you know, uh, Kaoruko not to be outdone, that's pretty good too. <laughs> so yeah, they're up above. <laughs> so, Kiwi, are you taking notes? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see you try. That's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, as always, just kind of leave. <laughs> they said, Chan, don't leave me behind. I love you. And out of fall? No, they float. <laughs> 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 so I think Sayo definitely might be the, the, the most into it of the whole gang. <laughs> it's like, why, why already? I was just getting to the good part. I only orgasm like three times. You know, I feel like all these videos are going to get demonetized. <laughs> it's, it's fine, though. Like, I try to curb, you know, how... Some of what I say, you know, try to keep it in the ballpark of being borderline YouTube friendly, but I, I don't always do that. And she does look a lot like an idol. Yeah, there's definitely some shots in the opening that still need some context. And I look forward to that being filled in. Usually they say no touching. You know, I'm glad that I am watching this after I finish airing, because I don't think I could wait every week for, for, for more of this show. It would kill me. You know, I feel like the subs don't do justice to just how slangy she speaks. It's not a big deal or anything, just... 
said that I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, well, you can never explain to mom about that. <laughs> It's not even a good excuse, you know. Oh no! <laughs> but could you imagine explaining to mom, like, I would have studied, but I, I was busy doing BDSM play with these magical girls as part of this evil organization. Please understand. <laughs> Mothers never understand. <laughs> you should try to relate to what our daughter's into, but... <laughs> Mag, oh, okay. Show yourself. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Why would you do that? For what purpose? <laughs> Is she feeling that backed up? <laughs> of course, every freaking seven-year-old has a phone nowadays. <laughs> Shut up, I'm trying to be sneaky. I, I really, I, I didn't notice. I need to study, okay? Torturing magical girls is all fun, and not, and not, but like, sometimes school matters, you know? <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> Told you she was relatable. Why do we go? <laughs> she, she would probably be disappointed. <laughs> we can't be doing these things to her that we that we do in front of the kids. Like, could you imagine how they would feel watching their you know magical girl they look up to be violated by tentacles? That that would probably traumatize you a little bit. Probably develop a new fetish within a couple of them, but. <laughs> Unlimited scissor works. Okay. Good thing that one piece of cloth remained. <laughs> Why does she look surprised? She's the one that did it. Uh, I guess some more damage than expected. <laughs> yeah, if that, if that wasn't there, you. Yeah. That'd be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> oh no, the kids. <laughs> oh god, they really showed the people. Man, this is definitely getting into some of my fetish material. <laughs> ah, we're stopping. I, so do I. Well, that was nice. It was short-lived, but it was a nice little humiliation session. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't want to be here. She knows where she wants to be inside of a magical girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 I bet. I want to take care of something before we begin studying again. <laughs> Clearly what she was about to pull out. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> he, she's got a point. Like, you weren't going to make any progress. <laughs> but you got to say, the cover on that is actually really, really hot. So she has good taste, is what I'm saying. I hope you're not too, too attached to those clothes. I'm also glad I've seen a lot of Magical Girl anime. 
It really does allow me to appreciate the show to its fullest. Now there they go. <laughs> you think you learned a block? Oh? Did she do something? Did she have clothes underneath? <laughs> okay. Okay, we broke out the pasties. I trust me, you <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I mean I was way ahead of you. <laughs> so now the cloth was able to disappear. <laughs> Tasteful. I wouldn't mind tasting them. Yeah, there's that even if it covers off it covers the important bits like that's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good. Yeah, like how how confident are you? <laughs> God damn, that's actually pretty hot in its own way. <laughs> because I mean, her butt's still pretty like fully exposed, right? I mean, just throwing that out there. <laughs> I know, right? You thought your outfit was embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, I know she has one like at the very top of the butt, but that's not, that's not covering anything. <laughs> like even her, even her starfish cover, I think more than the, the her, the her hearts do. Oof! So much power. Oh, okay. We are going for it. <laughs> and I think we lost one of the uh, pasties at least. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. So you really get knocked out right there? Or no, never mind. I gave my gummy characters mixed up. She got knocked out there. <laughs> Where am I? Why am I naked? Where'd the enemy go? <laughs> do, do, you, do you not approve? <laughs> Love what they've been doing with Sayo. <laughs> I wanted my one-on-one -on -one time with her, you know. Yeah, she mentioned that. <laughs> Oh, is she actually starting to realize, you know, that she just keeps leaving without killing them? <laughs> How weird that is. <laughs> Don't think too deeply on it, you know. There's that missing pasty. <laughs> the one that covered your left open. by. <laughs> what are we going to do about this? Kiwi, how good are you at studying and tutoring? Are you a smart girl secretly? Okay, I mean, I, I kind of saw it coming, but... <laughs> Gotta get that thing some pasties. <laughs> Alternate outfit version. Kaoduko? Yeah, there's no other blondes in this show. Aside from our evil girl who hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> yes, I know you want to powder and a paste, but... That's how she rolls. Did you forget something, or did they mess up your order? <laughs> this is our good guy, everyone. <laughs> I thought she was walking up to them at first. I guess not. I assume she'd eat with Kiwi.
<laughs> there she is. <laughs> Back off my girl. <laughs> Suru no. Put her back up. Baka baka. <laughs> so glad Kiwi's in the show. Baka baka. Are you trying to imply something? Are you, are you picking a fight? What do you want about? Definitely is not nothing. <laughs> he knew Baka, is that what you just said? <laughs> Man, even it, even untransformed, they still, still they, still just don't get along. He knew Baka. Well, we we have a photo shoot. Is that a thing we have in the show? Do, do you have a PR department for our magical girl stuff? <laughs> okay, we just, this is the thing we do. Okay. <laughs> magical girl, gra gravy, I can never say that word. <laughs> On the rise. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> she's not very magical girl like I must say. Maybe she'll join the enemy. Maybe she's a blonde on the bad guy side. <laughs> How many magical girls does she manage? I also never thought about it before, but I think Rebecca has her voice too. I'll look that up later. Well, that definitely sounds familiar. <laughs> really? <laughs> she is nothing if not honest. <laughs> It does sound similar. Bachan, Bachan. Uh. Oh, yeah, okay. We just broke the generator, which means they can now attack us. <laughs> uh. <laughs> smile on Kiwi space. Gotta check on it. <laughs> they didn't ask. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Throw in the shade. <laughs> that was a good line. That gun is so small. Whoosh, fly, my pretties. Oh, it is dodging the shields? Bugs! <laughs> well, we got through. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, really? They can't arrest me at all. <laughs> yeah, how inconsiderate. <laughs> Gotta love the bad guy teamwork. <laughs> and, you know, if you want to get paid, which you talked about like two minutes ago, these sponsors are important. <laughs> Boom. Kata Kata. Okay, we have gotta watch gotta gotta watch your back. <laughs> yeah, she didn't want to pound her like that for a while. <laughs> Thank you, maybe time to leave. <laughs> A little bit banged up, but I guess we're still raring to go. <laughs> Under the right conditions, yes. Let's go. Like a real fight now. That's hard to fight up against. I don't know how we deal with that. <laughs> Easy to forget which side's the good guys in moments like this. Because baggage is the one that's like on the ropes right now. <laughs> These faces, man. Ha! Ah. <laughs> God damn it, Sai. <laughs> why did she, why did she, I mean, I know why she's here, just... <laughs> Man, I was just, just, just starting to get pretty intense and pretty, pretty, pretty exciting, but... <laughs> Mission failed successfully. <laughs> yeah, those big fists really got to tucker you out. And that's, after, and that's after blocking a lot of his acts. And it's not damn it's over again. <laughs> I can't help that I'm a bad girl.
just the shit eating, the shit eating grin that's on Kiwi's face sometimes. I, I just love it so much. No, I can't read that in Wonderland. Um, but uh, but yeah, that was the the uh, the fourth episode of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Another great episode, to be sure. Like, I still think last one was probably my favorite one, but this one, another really good episode. And that title, I'm pretty sure, because I, I already got, I don't think I said anything, but, but I already got the vibe that the, the third girl at the back of the organization was supposed to be based off Alice in Wonderland. Just the character design just screamed that to me. So I'm pretty sure that's implying that we're going to get her next episode, which would be, which would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this episode... <clears throat> Man, as always, where do I even start <laughs> with talking about this episode? I mean, we had the we have the conflict, the more of a personal conflict with uh, with Utena. You know, the, uh, the mother the mother sees her, her test results because her schoolwork is clearly suffering as a result of her after school activities torturing magical girls, right? But uh, like like I said, you can't really use that as an excuse to the mother because she's not going to understand. Right, she's not progressive enough to to truly understand young people these, these days. So, all we all we probably can do is pretty much is just try to squeeze in as much studying as we can to get the grades up. Right, otherwise she'll just throw away all our magical girl stuff, which would be which would be horrible. But uh, the problem is like either either she's you know playing with the magical girls or she's just reading etchy stuff in our room, high quality etchy stuff like just. <laughs> Just study. You know, being a student is hard. You know, you got so so much responsibilities to juggle. When you have a part time job, it's even worse, right? So, it's just the show's just so funny with the way it takes all that magical girl stuff and kind of like it just basically gives it to the to the bad guy, right? Because that's kind of a thing that some magical girl shows will will showcase. You know, uh, this this girl working hard to fight for justice, defeat bad guys, which is a very noble thing but it does take away from getting her schoolwork done but even though she's doing a great thing you know and her her studies are lacking for a good reason she can't really tell people about it because of the you know magical girl secret and all that that's kind of a thing right so to just kind of take that and put it onto the bad guy makes it much funnier because like you know because uh, uh, nobody's gonna see that as a good reason that your schoolwork is you know struggling right so it just it's just really funny to me but anyway she that's something that she's dealing with but then we got to get a little bit of the haruka stuff she literally stands up at the park with these big old signs just like come at me bad guys i'm right here come at me bro <laughs> you know <laughs> it's, it's so over the top it's ridiculous and she did not want any of that but as always a uh, evil mascot character whose name i should probably try to remember v Van vanellita yeah vanellita anyway she uh Basically prompted her to go in there and kick some butt. You know, all these children with their freaking phones taking pictures and videos and stuff of, uh, of Haruka. <laughs> Even had some parents there. But. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she eventually shows up. She doesn't do much. She just scissors, cuts off all the clothes that they could, really, without getting too lewd. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the audience was not ready for that. Clearly. <laughs> but. Yeah. She looked pretty embarrassed by the end of that, which of course makes it makes it much better. And just Utena still thinking about it even after she leaves, but eventually she goes for it again. But this time, even though she does the same thing to Haruka, Haruka is prepared. She she brought the pasties, <laughs> blocking the three most important parts. Did not do anything to stop Utena's nosebleed because uh, yeah, you know, even if you cover the bits that can't be broadcast on certain networks, right? It doesn't make it safe for work, you know, if that, that makes sense. Like, it's still very lewd, very hot, very everything. So, uh, but the fact that she was acting like she was just wearing a normal set of clothes, like, nothing to be nothing to be embarrassed about. But, you know, reactions from the audience definitely caused that to backpedal a little bit. But, you know, she was not one to be deterred. She still got in there and battled. I love how the one mother took a picture or whatever. Like, that was, that was good. But uh, yeah, eventually one of the paces came off. Utena got a front row seat of what was underneath, and after a little bit of blood firing, that was basically it for it for that fight. But so that was everything about that was great. 
So, because I don't think, I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't think we really had any one-on-one -on -one time between Utena and Haruka before that. Because now we got it with Kaoruko and, and Asaya. I think that was the first time we got it with Haruka, so I think they just kind of needed it on that basis, but, um. Uh. Also, Kiwi's smart, you know. Like, I don't think they actually showed a scene of her tutor in here, but I think it was implied that they were going to do that. Maybe just like an off-screen thing. Not important enough to get a... Not important enough to have a full scene for, but yeah, Haruka tried to invite Utena, the loner, Hitori Bochi, to lunch, but uh, Kiwi not having any of that. She's like, Utena's busy. She's going to eat with me. Like, she got defensive over her girl real quick, you know, and Kaoruko took no hesitation to, like, kind of poke at that bear, right? Because I don't think she knows that that's evil organization Kiwi, right? But, uh, so I guess it just just destined to fight each other, you know? Toss ins insults back and forth. But... <laughs> but yeah, that was that was great to see. <laughs> also, they have a photo shoot. Like, that's the thing they do. They get they get a photo shoot for a magazine. Some magical girls are super secret, you know? But uh, not not these ones. Like, of course, they have their secret identity, but as far as, like, guest appearances and whatnot, you know? Well, why why, why not? You know, they just... They, 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 they do that, you know? But... <laughs> And yeah, Kaoruko, definitely the, the most, like, um, cynical, delinquent, I don't know if I go as far as say delinquent, but she definitely leaning towards that direction, right? Whereas Haruka is, of course, that stereotypical magical girl as you can get. Sayo, kind of as well, but also very lewd, masochistic, that she does, she enjoys the tentacles and, and uh, Utena's attacks, right? So, but so, so Haruka, definitely the most typical magical girl of, of the bunch, but... Yeah, so much that generator. Just I guess it wasn't powerful enough to win against a car, but yeah, I love the smile on Kiwi's face when they found them. Like, like she just found it hilarious that their plan to stay hidden did not work out. Like she's barely containing the laughter. That's kind of what her smile looks like in that shot at a uh, seventeen forty-three seconds. But but yeah, also also, Lieutenant could be excited about the photos, but. Definitely wouldn't, wouldn't be any you know photos as hot as what she gets to see from you know her own her own actions, but but yeah, just the, the, the pure rivalry we have between between Kaoruko and Kiwi is really great too. Like <laughs> they shit talk each other, they attack each other, they want to hurt each other. It's it's so good. And we actually got to, got to see Kaoruko break out break out the fists again with a little bit of help of a smoke screen to keep the VR intact. But she pounds them. They lose some clothing, get some more damage. Uh, Utena, not to be, not to be, you know, deterred. She's like, okay, you want this bitch? Let's go. And then jumps back into the fight. And at that point, we actually got like, because the show doesn't really have much real, like real fighting. It's mostly just a context to have the girls, you know, tortured or whatever. But we started to get a little bit into like real fighting territory there after she broke out the fists, right? Like it was starting to get pretty, pretty awesome, pretty action packed. But it didn't last too long, sadly. But it was really cool. And then Sayo tied up, of course. But just emotions just kept accelerating. They both kept getting more and more into it. I, I really enjoyed that segment. And again, being contrasted by Sayo being tied up. It's great. But yeah, Kaoruka, you know, I mean, they, they left again. But I think Kaoruka feels better. Got got that out of her system. which is Which is the important thing. And I think that's about everything to say on the episode. <laughs> so next episode, we should begin our Alice in Wonderland character, which is something to look forward to. And then we'll have our trio complete because we have the Trace Magia, whatever, the Magical Girl trio. We have to have our Back Eye trio to, uh, to match, right? So yeah, really good stuff. Thoroughly enjoying the show. Can't wait to watch more of it. I would watch more of it now, but I have to go to work soon, so sadly. But uh, yeah, that's that's that. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.